This video shows you how to submit a payment request in CalRecycle's Grants Management System, or GMS. First, sign into your GMS account. If you do not have an account, you will be required to create a WebPass account. WebPass accounts are created for individuals, not organizations, and are tied to your specific email address. If you change your email address, or if it becomes inactive, you will need to create a new WebPass account to continue accessing GMS. Once you have your WebPass created, please sign into your GMS account. Once signed in, you will see three sections. My Active Grant Applications contains a listing of applications that were created for your organization but have not been submitted or awarded. My Awarded Open Grants list all grants that are currently active. My Closed Grants Grant Application list all grants that have been closed or applications that were not awarded. To submit a payment request, access your active grant in the My Awarded Open Grant section. If you do not see a particular grant listed, that means you do not have access to view the grant in the system. You can have the primary contact log in and check your access or contact the grant manager that is listed in the award email. We'll be using our Organics Grant Program for training purposes and this particular grant was created for this training only, but the steps we are going over are applicable to all grants. Click on the Grant Management link to the right of your corresponding grant for which you wish to submit the payment request. You will now see the Summary tab of the Grant Management module. At the top of the screen, you will find the Assigned Grant Manager, their contact information, your organization's specific grant number, and the grant term end date. The Summary tab also includes the Budget Summary to help you keep track of how much is remaining to spend, as well as resource links and resource documents. In particular, you'll want to reference the Procedures and Requirements document throughout the grant term. Click on the link and the Procedures and Requirements document will open. The Payment Request and Documentation section list everything that's required. A copy of the Procedures and Requirements was also attached to your award email. To submit your payment request, click on the Payment Request tab. On the Payment Request tab, you will see a link called Show Contacts. This link will show you a listing of all the contacts associated with this grant. Anyone marked as authorized may sign the required grant payment request form, except in the case of those grants with a signature authority associated with the participant. However, this is only applicable to a select few grant cycles. If signature authority information needs to be updated, please contact the grant manager. The budget summary also shows at the top of this page and shows the total budget, the total approved amount so far, anything that is pending, such as payment request transactions submitted but not approved, and how much is left to be reimbursed. To complete a payment request, follow these steps. Click on Create a Payment Request in the Payment Request Transaction section. Scroll down to Step 1, which is located under Step 3, and select the correct transaction type using the drop-down box. More than likely, you will select the Reimburse Transaction. Advanced Reconcile is only selected if you are reconciling an advance payment. If there are multiple budget subcategories, the main category will be listed first, then Subcategory. Enter the requested amount in the corresponding subcategory box. If you do not have enough money available in one budget category, the transaction won't save, you will receive an error message, and you'll see a red asterisk next to the category that needs to be corrected. Do not enter zero in any of the budget subcategories you are not requesting money from. If you enter a zero, you will receive an error message that an amount greater than zero must be entered. Once you have verified that you have entered the correct amounts, click Save. Scroll down to Step 2 and click Upload Supporting Documents. For each type of supporting documentation, select the document type from the drop-down menu, enter the document title, and enter any additional notes in the document description box. Please be specific in naming documents. To upload the document, click Browse and find the document saved on your computer. Please note that documents may not exceed 35 megabytes. Once complete, hit Save. Hit Back and repeat these steps until all supporting documentation is uploaded. For a list of the required supporting documentation, please carefully read the Procedures and Requirements, which can be found under the Summary tab. 
GMS will not allow you to submit the payment request until all required supporting documentation is uploaded. If one of the required documents must be submitted on a CalRecycle form, the link to the CalRecycle Grants form webpage is available on the left. Once all supporting documentation has been uploaded, you can now submit your payment request by clicking Submit Transaction under Step 3. If you do not click Submit, your payment request is incomplete and will not be processed for payment. You can now go back to the Payment Request Summary by clicking on the Payment Request tab. The Payment Request tab will show you the remaining amount to spend, all transactions, and the corresponding statuses. You can verify that the payment request was successfully submitted by looking at the status column under the Payment Request Transaction section. If the status is pending, then the payment request transaction was not successfully submitted. Please note that you can start a payment request and finish it at a later date. Access the request by clicking on the transaction number. If the transaction has not been submitted, you may edit all aspects of the transaction, including the amounts requested. After you click Submit and the status changes from Pending to Submitted, you still have the ability to upload additional documentation that your grant manager may ask for after submittal, but you cannot edit the transaction itself. This concludes this instructional video. If you are still having trouble with submitting a payment request, please contact your grant manager. Yeah.